Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Once again, it is a Saturday morning vlog, but this Saturday morning looks a lot different than last Saturday morning. So in this area, it has been spring break this week, um, or I guess it is the last weekend of spring break. So um, this week has been kind of dreary for me, kind of hard to get through. Um, everything's been canceled this week because of spring break. Normally I go to Zumba once a week and then I go to pickleball twice a week, um, like Saturday mornings. Normally I'm at pickleball and you know, getting out of the house, getting some exercise in, it's really good for my mental health, gets me through the week. I like interacting with people, I like moving my body, it just makes me feel good. So that's been canceled and to top it all off, the weather has been atrocious. It's, what is it, it's almost April at this point. And we had a few really nice days where I could get outside, play some tennis, go on a run, go on a long walk with Casper. And this week just was not cooperating. It has rained or snowed every single day this week. Um, it's been in the 20s and 30s, super windy. You can probably hear the wind in the background of this video. Um, so if, yeah, I couldn't really go outside and go on a walk or exercise or really do anything because it was either raining or freezing cold. So I've kind of just been stuck in the house this week, which has been really depressing and tough. Um, work's been really stressful on top of it. And normally, you know, getting out of the house and doing my activities helps with that. Um, so yeah, this week was pretty hard to get through. So I'm really glad it's the weekend. Since I didn't have pickleball, of course, I woke up early so easily. I woke up at like 7.30 this morning, which is so hard to do on a weekday, on a work day. And this morning I woke up so easily um, and I felt really well rested, but I've also been exhausted this week. So I've been falling asleep early. Um, so this morning I was able to get up, read a little bit of my book. Um, I, this week, have been reading the Harry Potter books because um, I've never read them before. So I finished the first one this week and then this morning I started the second one. So nice relaxing morning in bed. Unfortunately, I do have to work a little bit today. I'm probably gonna do that now and get it out of the way. Um, we just have some deadlines on Monday and we weren't able to finish it during the week. So I do have to sit down and work for a little bit, uh, which I'm dreading. Work has just been stressing me out so much. Um, but yeah, that is the start to my Saturday. I did, however, want to show you um, this new hairstyle I've been doing. Let me take you to the bathroom and show you. Um, it's been super easy. I've been loving it. So I have a lot of hair, as you can probably tell. So I have really thick hair. When I want to curl it or straighten it or anything, I have to do a ton of layers. And... I don't know, with curls with a ton of layers, it kind of just gets really big and I don't necessarily love it. So something that's been easier than curling all of my hair is my roots are a really, really curly part. Like the, the curliest part of my hair is the roots. So what I've been doing is, let's see if I can show you this. This is like inception. Okay, but anyway, um, you can see that I braided my roots here down my head and then I just curled um, what was left of my hair. So I ended up doing two layers of curls and then I just had to curl this ponytail piece here and it was really easy. It did not take me long at all and I don't know, it's just easy and it makes me look pretty put together. Also, in case you're wondering, um, no, I do not normally wear glasses. Um, I have worn glasses a lot in the past, but I wear contacts that you keep in for a month and you sleep in them and you don't touch them for a month. And I took them out last night and I'm giving my eyes a little bit of a rest. So these are my glasses. I don't wear them super often, but they're pretty cute.
So I just worked for a little over an hour. I don't know if I'm gonna have to work more today, but um, I got a good chunk of stuff done. And I ate some lunch. And I think I'm gonna go spend some time at my parents' house today. Um, my brother's home from college and he just got back from his spring break trip to Mexico. So I'm gonna go spend some time with them. And I cannot see without my glasses on. I have to get so close to the mirror. So I started watching the iCarly Reboots show um, on Paramount Plus, and it's making me feel so old. So one thing, it's an adult sitcom now instead of Nickelodeon because it's aimed at like my age for the target audience since we're the ones that grew up watching the original show. But there was just an episode where Carly gets a letter that she wrote to herself when she was 12 years old and it was to read like to your future self in 15 years and I was like 15 years that cannot be right and it just made me so like feel so old because she wrote it when she was 12 she was turning 27 in the show and I realized I Carly premiered 15 years ago which means I was eight, 15. I don't know, that just like makes me feel so old. So normally I wouldn't do my makeup if I'm just gonna hang out at my parents' house, um, but we might go out to dinner tonight. So I wanna make myself look at least a little presentable. So I'm probably just gonna pack up my work computer, my work phone, um, and maybe my Kindle if there's some downtime before dinner and I just want to hang out and read um, And my work stuff in case I end up needing to work a little bit And I desperately need to stop at my mailbox on the way to their house Because I have not stopped there all week because I don't even think I've left the house this week Like I said, it's been a really depressing week all right, makeup done, glasses on to see how atrocious I did without being able to see. Not too shabby. Also, look at these nails, you guys. Like, one, look how grown out that is. And two, like, <laughs> I'm missing some. Um, I never get my nails done, but when I went to Florida in, like, mid-February to visit my grandma, we got our nails done. <laughs> They're so grown out. Um, these chipped and they peeled off. I got gel, so I'm just looking like a hot mess. Hey you guys, it is many hours later. I am back from my parents' house. Um, I just went over there to hang out. We played some games. Um, I won Yahtzee and Phase 10, the only two games that we played, so pretty proud of myself there. Um, we went out for dinner at a Mexican restaurant. Um, I had a mojito, and that was really good. Um, but now I'm back home, and I'm getting ready for bed. I'm in my comfy clothes now. Um, gonna take my hair out and take my makeup off. Um, so what I've been using lately, and I've loved it, is this Clinique Take the Day Off. And it is this balm. Um, so it looks like this. And when you take it out and you rub it over your face, it turns into like an oil and it takes your makeup off so freaking well. Like there is nothing left. I used to be like a makeup white person and this is so much better. It takes the makeup off so much better. Um, my skin feels so much better and smoother. It doesn't smell like chemicals and I just really loved it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'll take my glasses, I will take my glasses off. Yep. And you can see that like my mascara is running down here and I just, it's a hot mess and it needs to come off. Making my hair on my face. Okay, so this is the before. A little scary. All right, and this is the after result. You cannot see any residual makeup anywhere. Can see all my redness and everything. So I like to finish it off with some of this Clinique 
dramatically different moisturizing lotion uh, just because I have really dry skin and I like to put some moisture on before I go to bed so that when I wake up my face isn't all dry. Alright and then some aquaphor for my lips. Okay, now to take the braid out of my hair and see how freaking atrocious it is. It always feels good to take this braid out because if you know, you know, if you have like a tight braid or ponytail pulling on your scalp all day, it feels so good to take out. <laughs> Hot mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is kind of where my my part kind of wants to go. But like, these roots, what are you going to do with them? You know? Like, pretty crazy. So, I'm just going to throw it into a quick bun so it's out of my way. I typically take the bun out before I go to sleep. Because one... It's probably gonna fall out anyway when I sleep because it's such a loose scrunchie. And two, it's just, I like all my hair to flow and it damages your hair when you wear it up when you go to bed. So I damage it enough with all the heat I put on it. Okay, whatever, it's good enough. My phone keeps sliding down, so <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for coming along with me today. Um, I know it was kind of just a really chatty, chill Saturday, but it is what it is. I love days like this. Let's pull some of these down. They're gonna end up coming down anyway. There we go. Now I don't look like as much of a beanhead, you know, for myself in bed. Anyway, I'm gonna go lay in bed, read some Harry Potter, probably fall asleep early. It is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.